Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, we'll be taking some stem and leaf questions and then we'll solve them together. So without wasting much time, let's start. So the first question is, the following data set represents the scores out of 100 achieved by 25 students in a mathematics test. So these are the scores. So they want us to construct a stem and leaf plot. Okay. So to do that, this is what we are going to be doing, to make it easy for you, okay? What you do first is to rearrange the data values in ascending order, okay? When you do that, it will make it easy for you, okay? So let's try and then rearrange these values in ascending order. So to do that, first of all, let's check out for the lowest data value in the data set. So the lowest data value is going to be what? Um, 63, so it's in 60s. So it means there are some data values that are in 70s, some are in 80s. Uh, let's check out for the highest. The highest is 90. So it means the highest data value will be in 90s. You get it. Now let's arrange them first, okay? So the lowest one is 63. So let's mark the 63 and then write it down, okay? Then do we have 64? No, we do not have 64. Do we have 65? Yes, we have 65, so we mark it here and then write it down. Do we have 66? No, we do not have 66. But do we have 67? No, we do not have 67 also. Do we have 68? Yes, we have 68. So we mark 68 and then write it down. You see that? Then do we have 69? Yes, we have 69. So we mark 69 and then write it down. So those are the 60s. The highest data value in the 60s will be 69. You can actually go through your data values and mark all the 60s once, okay, before you write them down. You see that? That one too can be easy. Then let's go to the 70s. First of all, let's check if we have 70 each out. So we have 70. So we mark it. And then we come and write it down. But let's give some space and write it. You see that? Then um, let's check if we have 71. So we have 71. We mark it here and then write it down. Then do we have 72? Yeah, we have 72 here. So we mark it and then write it down. Do we have 73? Um, we have 73 here. So we mark it and then write it down. Do we have 74? Let's check if we have 70. Yeah, we have 74 here. So we mark it and then write it down. Do we have 75? Yeah, we have 75 here. So we mark it also and then write it down. We have 76. Um, we have 76 here. So we mark it and then write it down. We have 77. Yeah, we have 77 here. Just one. We mark it and then write it down. You have to check if each of the data values, you have extra of it. For instance, when I check the 77, I've marked it and then I've written it down. I have to still check if there's another 77. Okay. Because they can be two, they can be three, it depends. So if there's another 77, I might and also write it down again. You get it. So, but the 77 is just one. Let's check if we have 78. So we have 78 here. So let's mark it and then write it down. Do we have 79? There's no other 78 again. So let's check if we have 79. Um, so we mark it and then write it down. Is there any other 79? Um, no, there's no other 79. So that's the highest data value in the 70s. So we are going to the 80s now. Okay. So first, let's check if we have 80 or so. So we mark it here and then write it down. Okay, that's the 80s. So is there any other 80? No. So let's go to 81. So we have 81 here. So we mark it and then write it down. Is there any other 81? No. Then let's go to 82. So we have 82 here. So you mark it and then write it down. Is there any other 82? No. So let's check. Um, let's go to 83. So we have 83 here. So we mark it and then let's write it down. Is there any other 83? No, no other 83. Then we check 84. So we mark 84 and then write it down. No other 84. So let's go to 85. So we mark 85 here. This is it. Then we write it down. So let's check if there's 86. Uh, there's no other 85 again, so let's check if there's 86. So 86 is here. So we mark it here also, and then write it down. Then let's check, do we have 87? Yeah, we have 87. So we mark it here, 
and then write it down. Do we have 88? Yeah, we have 88. So we mark it here and then write it down as well. Do we have 89? 89. This is 89. So we mark it here and then write it down. So when you look through this, we've marked almost everything. We just left with the 90. Okay, so we are going to the 90s. So in the 90s, there's just one value in the 90s, and that is 90. Okay, so we mark it also and then write it down. Remember I told you that you can choose to look through your data set and then mark all the ones in 60 at once before you can write them down. Then you also go through and mark all the ones in once. Okay, before you come and write them down. That is if you find that one easy for you, okay. Then let's count the data values and see if they are up to 25. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So they are up to 25. Okay. So after that, then you draw a horizontal line. Then you also draw one vertical line to cross it. Okay. Now we are going to name this header as 10. Okay. Then we name this header leaf. Okay. Now what we are going to do is that you see that some of the data values are in the 60s, some are in the 70s, and some are in the 80s, and some are in the 90s. So what we are going to do is that the initials of the ones in the 60s, what are their initials? Their initials is 6. Okay, you see that I repeat throughout 666. So we are going to write 6 here as a stem. Okay, for the ones in 70s also, their stem is going to be what? 7, that's their initials. Then, the ones in the 80s also, their stem is going to be what? 8. Then the ones in the 90s, their stem is going to be what? 9. So for the lead, no. You see the ones in, in the 60s? Okay, the ones in the 60s. When you check the first data value in the 60s, each leaf is going to be the last digit, which is 3. So we come and write a 3 down. So this 5 will come here, since it's also in the 60s. So we write 5 here. Then the next one, we have 68. We already have the 6 here. So we just write 8 as a leaf. Then 69, we already have the stem, which is 6 here. So we just write the 9. You see that. Then we go to the 70s. So in the 70s, we are going to add 0. We're going to have 1. You're going to have two, you're going to have three, you're going to have four, you're going to have five, then write it down. You're going to have six, you're going to have seven, you're going to have eight, you're going to have nine. Then we go to the eighties also. So in the eighties, the first one is going to be zero, the second one is going to be one, the next one is going to be two, the next one will be three. Now take note of this. I did mean that you have multiple 83s. Okay, let's say you have 83 like three times or three times. You will still repeat the three again like three times. That's, let's say you have 83 three times. So you repeat the three here in the 80s. You repeat that three three times also. You go accordingly. Okay. So the next one is 84. So we just write four here. Then the next one is five. The next one is six. The next one is 7, the next one is um, 8, the next one is 9, so that's all. Then we go to the 90s. In the 90s, we only have one data value, and each leaf is going to be 0, so we write the 0 down. You get it. Let's take another type of question and see how to go by that as well. So let's look at question 2. This question says, the weight of 33 students in Department of Mathematics here and USP are given below. Construct a stem and leaf plot diagram to summarize the data. So we want to construct stem and leaf plot for you. So pay attention. Let's see how to do this. So this is what we are going to do. Um, what is the lowest data value in this data set? The lowest is 90. And then the highest is 158. So it means we are going to have some data values in the 90s, some in the 100s, some in the 110s. Some in the 120s, some in the 130s, some in the 140s, and some in the 150s, isn't it? Yeah. So this is what we are going to do. The lowest one, which is 90, let's mark it. And then let's write it down, 90. Now, in the 90s, we have to make sure we write all the values in the 90s. So when you look through these data values, 
you see that we have 90. Do you have any other 90s? Yeah, we have 99. Yeah, so we only have two 90s. So let's mark the second 90. That's 99, and then write it down. So we are done with the 90s. So let's go to the hundreds. So first of all, let's quickly scan through and see the ones in the hundred. So um, this is in the hundred, one zero four. Then which other one? This another one zero four in the hundred. Then this one zero seven in the hundred. Then what else? Okay, we have only three values in the hundred. So let's mark them. So we mark the one zero four, and then write it down. Then mark the next one in the hundred, and then write it down and then we mark this also that's 107 which is also in the hundred okay then we write it down so we are done with the ones in the hundred so let's check the ones in the one tenth okay so let's quickly count through and see the ones in the one tenth so this is in the one tenth this one one two is all tenth um what else this is also in the one tenth the lowest hope are one one two um which other one is in the one tenth this one one two is also in the one tenth um, okay, this 115 is also in the 110. I think that's all. So, first of all, we mark the 112 since it's the lowest in the 110. Okay, we mark it and then write it down. Then there's another 112 again. This one, we mark it and then write it down. Then let's check 113. So, we have 113 here. So, we mark it and then write it down. Do we have 114? No, we do not have 114, but we have 115, right? So this is 115 here. So we mark it and then write it down. Do you have any other data value in the 119? So we mark 119 and then write it down. So I think that's all. So let's check the 120. So um, we have 120 here. This another 120. Um, this is another 120. 120, 120. The lowest we've seen so far is 121. So take note of the lowest we've seen so far. Okay, there's another 120. The lowest we've seen so far now is 120. Um, 122 is here, 121 is here, 123 is here, okay. So for the 120s, we have a lot of them. So let's start from the 120. So we mark 120 and then write it down. We have 121, yes, we have 121. Uh, this is the first 121 here. So we mark it and then write it down. There's another 121 here, we mark it and then write it down. We are basically arranging them in ascending order, okay. Um, then we have 122, two. yeah, we have 122 two here. So we mark it and then write it down. Do you have one, two, three? Yeah, this is one, two, three here. So we mark it also and then write it down. Do we have another one, two, three? Yeah, we do have another one, two, three. This is it. We have to check out all those things. So we mark it also and then write it down. Do you have one, two, four? No. Do we have one, two, five? No. But we have one, two, six. This is one, two, six. So we mark it and then write it down. After this one, two, six, there's one, two, six here. This one, two, six. So we mark it also and then write it down um is that one two seven do we have one two seven yeah this is one two seven so we mark this one two seven and then write it down also so i think we are done with the one twenties is there any other one twenty check no other one twenties right so let's go to the one thirty so we have one three six here one three two here one three two here um one three eight here one three three here so far the lowest one thirties we've seen is one three two so let's check here again this 139 here, 137 here, okay. So this 134 here, okay, we have 134. So let's start marking the 130s. You can actually mark all the ones in the 130s down or circle them before you, you write them, okay. But they should be in ascending order. So um, the lowest so far is 132, right? So let's mark this 132 and then write it down. There's another 132, so let's mark it also and then write it down. Do we have 133? So we have one three three here. We have another one three three here. So let's mark this one first and then write it down. We have another one three three here. So let's mark it also and then write it down. We have one three four here. So let's mark this one three four and then write it down. Do you have one three five? No. But we have one three six. So let's mark this one three six and then write it down. Do you have another one three six? No. But we have one three seven, right? Yeah. So let's mark this one three seven. And then write it down also. Uh, do you have another one three seven? No. Let's mark this one three eight here, and then write it down. In case you mistakenly skip something, let's say there were one three seven two of it, and you only write one. When when you are done, and then you notice that 
you can manage to fix it in okay so let's check if you have another 130 so we have 139 here so let's mark the 139 and then write it down so do you have any other 139 no so we are done with the 130 for now so let's go to 140 so there's 140 here um that's 143 um there's another 140 here that's 140 uh, there's another 140 here that's 141 so let's mark the 140 which is the lowest in the 140 okay and then we write it down as well then let's mark the 141 and then write it down is there another 140 yeah we have 140 here so we mark it also and then write it down so we are done with the 140 so let's go to the 150 this is 150 which is going to be the lowest there so let's mark it and write it down then is there any other 150 yeah we have 158 here so let's mark this 158 and also write it down so what you see you see that everything has been marked in case you see something that hasn't been marked and let's assume that 10 is in um, the 130s range and it happens to be less than 134 you can manage and come and write it somewhere beside the 134 okay yeah so let's count them if you have to the 33 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So they have to 33. Okay. So let me draw one horizontal line here and then draw one vertical one to cross it. Okay. So we are going to write 10 here and then we write leaf here, okay. So the first one, we have them in the 90. So let's write 9, okay, since it's just two digits. So we write the first digit, which is 9. Then the next one, we have it in a 100, okay, it's three digits. So we are going to write the first two digits as the 10, in this case. So we are going to write 10, okay. Then the next one, you see, it won't be even possible for you to write 1, because from 9, do you go to 1? No, you go to 10. You see that so the next one is going to be 11 and the next one will be 12 you see that and the next one will be 13 the initials the first two initials then the next one will be 14 then the last one will be 15 so that's the stem right down the stem then we go to the leaf for the ones in the 90s we have 0 and 9 as a leaf so we write them as 0 9 then the ones in the 100 we have 4 4 7 so we write a 4, 4, 7. Then the ones in the 110, we have 2, 2, 3, 5, 9. So we write them down. 2, 2, 3, 5, 9. You see that. Then we go to the 120s. We have 0. Let's write it down. We have 1. Let's write it down. We have another 1. Let's write it down. Let's check the rest. 2, 3, 3, 6, 6, 7. So let's write them down. 2, 3, 3. Six, six, seven. That's all right. Let's go to the next one. Two, two, three, three. Let's write them down. Two, two, three, three. Then we have four, six, seven, eight, nine. So four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Then let's go to the next one. Zero, one, three. So let's write them down. Zero, one, and three. Then let's go to the last one. We have zero and eight. As a leaf, okay. So let's write zero and then eight. So that's all. This is how to construct the stem and leaf plot. You can actually count the leaves, okay. All the leaves, you can count them if they are up to 33 to confirm that they are up to okay. So we'll be solving more practice questions as time goes on. Hence, it is important to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more tutorials. Thank you, and see you in the next tutorial.